As sporting activities across the world continue to retain their popularity, there seems to be one sport which happens to be even an exception, and that is golf. With 828 golf courses across the continent of Africa, with a low entry and exit barrier, and huge benefits for health, golfing is that sport. I was curious today and I decided to visit the Koi Club in Lagos, Nigeria, and it happens to be one of the world's busiest golf course. And I wanted to see what it's like in the world of golfing over here. Come with me. My name is Fatima Tisakona Copen, and I do a lot of things. Mm -hmm. And especially today, I'm playing golf, and I'm the lady captain for the Equity Club golf subsection, the lady section. This is our driving range here at Equity Club. And first, you have to come here. If you want to play golf and you want to learn how to play golf, you have to come here. Mm -hmm. And how do you come here is first, by getting a pro like Monday here, mm -hmm. who from Monday has been playing for a while, but just to, well, not just four years. Four years. Mm -hmm. Four years playing uh, as a pro, and he's really good. Yeah. He has a main game. Mm -hmm. So you will meet, uh, you know, a pro like from Monday, and his job is to help you understand the game. Mm -hmm. You know, we, you see us hitting balls, you don't know how we hit that ball, you think it's easy. But it's not. It's a tactic. It's a. It's a technique. It's. It's a. It's a specific way you need to hold your club, uh, and the positioning and everything. So he comes in, and he'll help you understand all of those things before you can even hit the ball, right? And it'll take you many, many hits to really get it. But uh, gradually, you can, you can, you know, you will start to play. The Open is coming up pretty quickly, and so we want a lot of attention around ladies and what golf can do for your health and your well-being uh, as a whole. So let me swing a few. Yes, yes. So, um, like he was, he was saying to you, yeah. you know, your swing. So the idea is to make sure you get a good, you know, swing. And as golfers, we pick up bad habits, so don't follow me. Yeah? Wow. So you, you, you don't know how you pick them up, but you do. You mm -hmm. just get comfortable in some bad habits. Tell us more about the Equally Club Ladies section. What are the initiatives that you have? What are some of the things that you do on a regular basis? For our ladies subcommittee, this year we came up with the same job life. Mm. And it's just very interesting. interesting. <laughs> but it's mainly because we wanted to just kind of bring a, a lighter spirit, you know. Sometimes we do it on the things that are not happening and not see the things that are. So we really wanted to bring a lighter spirit, you know, more uh, joyfulness to the game. You know, times are hard and everybody's struggling, but it's always good to have an oasis that you can go to. I call this place my Disney world. You know, I come in, I park my car, no matter what issues I might be having, I leave it at the door and come play nice, 18 hole or not, but it's fun. And it gives you a, a therapeutic, you know, day. Uh, you're in the fresh air, reading well, play, have good company, uh, and uh, just fellowshipping and enjoying God's grace. So we started with that, and then we also put something that is a quite different, which is about the community. Mm -hmm. And our goal this year, the subcommittee goal this year, is to include as many uh, parts of our ecosystem in in a club golf session as possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah. from the the bag boys to the to the uh, security to the the course workers mm -hmm. to the to the caddies, and this year caddies is our theme. So our program is around caddies. How can we educate them? How can we uplift them? How can we make them more inclusive in the in, in the community? 
Uh, we've been able to do different seminars with them. We've been able to get sponsorship to do a lot of different educational programs and also support their personal education, you know, giving them scholarship, paying school fees. If the caddies are too old to take advantage of the, the education part, we offer it to their next in case so their children can take that opportunity. So we've been able to do that. We've been really excited because we've had such great output of, of generosity. Thanks to our partner and our sponsor, our custodian investment insurance. They've just given us an amazing package to cover all of our caddies, all of our bags boys and pros with five years of good life insurance. Also, so we're very excited by that. We're also working with Avon HMO to also give us health check for the caddies to make sure that they're well and fit to be able to work with their uh, players. So very, very excited about that. We also have our Junior Golf Academy, which my vice, uh, Peggy Owen is, is responsible for, and she has done a phenomenal job in getting our Junior Golf program from just twice a year to all year round. So that's an excitement that is a around the community. And then we did for the first time this year, our Veterans in Invitational. So our veterans and our super veterans were able to play and we had a fantastic time in April with them. It's something we've never done before in the Equally Club. So that was something that the ladies came up with and it's been fantastic. Yeah. And now we're rolling in to uh, our Open. Also, so we're excited about that. Excited. Yes. So the Open is coming up in November, November the 13th through the 15th, three days of growth tournament. And it's from zero to 28 handicappers. Ladies from all around the world are welcome to play, and we're really encouraging all of our ladies to participate. We have limited uh, space, of course, so you know the first come, first serve, and the, the quicker you get in, the better. We're also going to have our sponsors and men guests play with us on the third day, and those slots are also limited, but we're encouraging them to really register early and get in. And thanks to all of our sponsors, we got Delta Airlines, that is like our carrier, and they've been with us the whole year. So they're giving the winner a premium ticket, round trip ticket to the U.S. Oh, wow. Um, we also have packages like going to Marrakesh. We have another package for Lockaway, you know, golf or uh, um, okay. uh, a country club. We have so many different gifts from different uh, parts. We have uh, partners that are coming like Business Day mm -hmm. and so forth. So we're very excited about what we're doing this year. and. Most especially in getting the awareness out for more ladies to join playing golf because it's such an amazing sport. And you can play until you're like 90 something years old. And you've been playing for how long now? 17? I've been playing about 17 years. Awesome. At what age is it open for a young person to start playing you golf? Start playing at five. At five years old. Wow. Okay, start playing. I mean, we've got. If you come around on Mondays and Saturdays and you see our little on um, Fridays and you see the little kids coming with the little backpacks on and the little golf kid, kid carry, then this high, you know, and very exciting to see. And we have some really good players in the Junior Academy now, and they also play around Nigeria. So uh, recently we had uh, some of our kids in IDD playing uh, their, their children's tournament. And there's one coming up in the cage. I'm, I'm, I'm sure our kids will be participating as well. So we're very excited about the Junior Academy. Exciting. And then you said something about Tuesdays. What happens on Tuesdays? What's so special about Tuesdays for the ladies? So Tuesday is about the ladies. Mm. Tuesday morning is the ladies' morning. So we get to spend time together. The course is open only to us in the morning from about 6.30 in the morning to about 10 o'clock. And the ladies come out and we're about 60 or, or more uh, and we enjoy ourselves. We play amazing golf. We have good fun. We then, of course, proceed to Hole 19, as we call it, the clubhouse, to just kind of socialize. Today was a nice day. We had a couple of our uh, veterans players celebrating birthdays. So we got to eat, you know, some delicacy from awesome. <laughs> and cake and awesome. akara and, you know, just it's a fun atmosphere and it brings a lot of joy, you know, to see how much we look forward to a Tuesday on the golf course with each other. So, so it's just social 
chill, the fresh air, and all of that. Yep. What is the requirement for someone who might want to join the ladies golf section? I believe there should be some requirement, or is it free for everyone? Is it free for all? No, it's a members only club. So obviously you have to be a member of the Eclipse club mm -hmm. and the golf se section. Yeah. You also have to have a handicap. Mm, yeah, so you yes. have to have a handicap. Just, just to cut you short for a bit, for someone who is watching and is wondering what's an early cap, what is that in golf? So a handicap is what you get as an amateur golfer. So okay, typically great. a course for a lady maybe 72 to gross out. So if you're playing as an amateur, mm -hmm. they kind of give you a discount because they know that you can do, if the hole is a par four, Chances are you probably won't do a part four. Mm. You, you won't do uh, four, four shots to get in the right. hole. Yeah. So they try to give you a little bit of kind of cushion. So every hole you would get a discount, if you will, on that hole. So that determines. And as you get better in your game, that discount goes away. So if you start say, with a handicap 36 as a lady and you start to play really well, you will find that every time you are able to play better, your handicap will go lower. So on most sports, the win, you get higher scores. In golf, it's the opposite, you get lower scores. So for me, my handicap is now lower. So I have, of course, my discounts out. It's very limited. So if I'm playing, <laughs> playing someone in a net competition, I really have to play well to win. But if it's a growth competition, yeah, I, I'll probably win. Because if you start to get into that single handicap category, it's much, much harder because you have to focus, you have to really pay attention to your game and you don't get the discounts that, you know, those large hitting caps need that. Mm. So we're playing the growth. That's what I said. The, the openness of growth competition, three days growth competition from zero to 28 handicap. Zero to 28 yeah. handicaps. Awesome. So what's the structure of the ladies golf section? We have a subcommittee. So I am the captain of the ladies section, subsection. I'm elected. As a vice captain, I was elected. Now I'm the captain. My vice was elected. The uh, treasurer is elected and the secretary is elected. But everyone else is a volunteer, appointed volunteer. Of course, we're all volunteers. And so we don't get paid for any of this. We actually get paid to play the game. It brings such joy to know that you're impacting your community and you're giving back to your community and you're leaving a little bit of something better mm. than when you came. Mm. So that's how we do it. Awesome. And supports for young female golfers, anyone in place? We do have a lot of support from the ladies individually. And sometimes if we have requests, we definitely, you know, as a group, we'll put together. Like when the lady pros were going to do the exams, wanting to become pros, we were definitely instrumental in supporting them financially to making that happen. So today we have about 17 pros around Nigeria, ladies. Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> excited. And actually one of the great things about what we're trying to do is that we're going to have the lady pros play with us this year for the first time. Nice. Uh, I'm the first two in the film, yes. Interesting. And any challenges you face, obviously, everything that has its good side must certainly have its own color. So what are some of the challenges that you will experience? Yeah. You know, change is difficult. Yeah. So anything that is new will definitely meet resistance. Yeah. So it's actually an opportunity more so than a challenge for me. It's an opportunity to do something better. Yeah. And you know, if God is good, what the chances are that he will make me the person that he wants to use to make that change. So I'm grateful. Yeah. I'm grateful I have the opportunity. I'm grateful that I can do what I can do and make the change I can, I can make just playing a leisure game, you know, nobody's paying you, but you're making your, your little positive impact. And then hopefully that grows from there because, you know, light dispense anyhow, any little, it, de it definitely gets rid of darkness. So we're just trying to be a little light in the dark that just kind of get rid of the darkness. Yeah. So Chet Live theme is just that trying to make sure that everybody enjoyed life. The theme for this year, Chop Life. <laughs> Chop Life. Actually, that's a song by Flavor. Yeah, it's okay. called Chop Life. And my husband and I were driving, going to Lockaway, we're listening to this song, and I was like, this is my jam right here. Mm. This jam is my jam. So that's where 
Let's drop live him. So, and you were on your way to Lakure. I know that's Lakure Golf. Yeah. So, you spoke about your husband also being a golfer. Yeah. Did you meet on the game? No, we did not. Okay. And again, thanks be to God, both of us are in technology. And so we met in the technology field. And ever since then, uh, we, we realized that we have so many things in common. Mm -hmm. So I love golf, he loved golf. Love technology, I love technology. So yeah. most of everything we kind of do together. That's a blessing. Awesome. awesome. And by the way, one of the reasons why we need more with me playing because we have so many men that play golf and they would love to have the wives playing with play them. golf. And so we're really encouraging all of our, our ladies to come in. And when the kids are gone, what else do you do? You hang out with your husband playing golf and traveling playing golf as well. And golf takes you to some amazing places so as well. So yeah, it's a beautiful thing. And I wish more, more and more ladies would take it. Speaking of all women joining, what are some, I mean, notable successes um, from notable women in the ladies golf section that you might want to share with us? Oh man, I there are many. We have some amazing past lady captains. You know, first of all, I, I wouldn't be able to do most of what I'm doing without their knowledge, their support. You know, they've just been phenomenal. They've stepped in, you know, directing, telling you what has happened, what has worked, what hasn't. Mm. It's a very rich, amazing culture in golf because mm. lady captains, ha past lady captains, Ex, you know, they, they share the experience. Not only do they share the experience with you, they work with you mm. to make sure that things are happening. So yeah, they, there's so many, I can't I can even start to tell you which mm. one to start mm. talking mm. about. So what does it take to become a member of the ladies golf section? Just register and you're good to go. So what do you think? I mean, golfing in Africa is quite interesting. We have 828 golf courses in my research mm. should that but what do you think as someone who plays golf, what do you think is the outlook for golfing in Africa? Do you think it's looking good? Do you think people are embracing it? Do you think there's still a lot of work to be done? I think it's looking good. I mean, South Africa, East Africa, they all about, you know, golf is there, North Africa, you know, Morocco. It's amazing the golf courses they have. So we are embracing golf. Mm. I guess the Sub-Saharan, but more especially West Africa. We haven't really sunk our teeth in it. So it's more work to do here, but I think it's definitely catching on. And most especially Southern Africa, oh my goodness, they have beautiful courses. Kenya, Rwanda has a beautiful course right now, Tanzania, so it's, it's really catching on. Mm. So it's looking up, it's looking up. It's looking up. Yes, it's looking <laughs> up. I mean, 10 or 20 years ago, we didn't have Lafaway. Now we have Lafaway, you know? Mm -hmm. We didn't have Smoky Hill, we didn't have, you know, a bomb. So it's coming, it's coming. There's a lot, there's a lot of vibe around it. Mm. And for, you, you mentioned Lakaway, we didn't have Lakaway and now it's catching on. So what is the biggest or the, the biggest golf course currently in Nigeria or Lagos, so to speak? I've played a few, but Lakaway is, is quite impressive. Mm -hmm. Lakaway Lakes is quite impressive. Yeah. In terms of the course? The course. But then but the Ikoi is the busiest golf course, if I dare to say, in the world. Oh, oh yes, this wow. course, it's busy every day, except for Mondays. But even on Mondays, the caddies play. So the wow. club is really busy. Well, and then, I mean, that's the same, even the world. Yes. That's quite impressive. Yes. Wow, wow. So what's the future looking like for the ladies golf section? I pray that we get our solid pros going on tour. Ladies pros, that's mm. my prayer, is that we will have some solid lady pros coming out of Equate Glow, well, mm. going on tour international. Mm. Yes. That's simple. Yes. Simple as that. Yes. Just ladies going on tour. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. But before I go, what would, if, if women want, if you wanted to tell a woman why you should play golf, what would you be saying to her? If you're talking to me now, I would say to you, and it depends on the woman. So if you have children, you have husband, you have this, it depends. But in general, you deserve it. Mm -hmm. Take some time out. Four hours, five hours a week on a golf course is worth it. Clears your mind, it's good for your body, your soul, your spiritualness. You're in God's presence, all in nature. It's okay. 
to have that time. There's nothing wrong with it. And as you get older, you will appreciate it even more. So you're getting better with age. Why not get better with golf? Hmm. That's an interesting way to look at it. Hmm. Okay. We'll take that. <laughs> we'll take that. Thank you very much to Mrs. Koka Fatumata LC for spending our time with us today, speaking about the importance of golf and what the Ikoyi Ladies Golf Section is doing. Very interesting conversation. I've learned a lot, being in the presence of nature, and it's been such a beautiful time. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, ma'am. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. All right, then.